Hey YouTube, it's May 29th, 2012, and I'm just making a quick record here of, of the many earthquakes, if, if Google Earth is to be believed, of the many earthquakes that have happened in northern Italy on May 29th, 2012. So let's start at the top. I want you to notice that this, 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 and this are all today. So let's just take a look at those really quickly. 4.4 at 8.28 p.m. 5.1 at 0.25 p.m. This was in 1999. 5.29 at 12.55 p.m. at epicenter. 5.29 at 10.40 a.m. epicenter. 10.25 a.m. at epicenter. 9.09 a.m. epicenter. And I think that's about it. And you'll see there's lots of little earthquakes around here over time. But this is a cluster, and I wanted to make a record of that. Also, this isn't too far from the 6.0 that they had on May 20th. And if you go to Google Earth and start clicking around here, you'll see that there's others that are closer to this time. This is May 25th, 2012. But we have one, two, three, four. This is almost a triangle here. And two right, right near each other here. It's at 12.55 and 10.40, so there's quite a bit of time difference there. So usually in aftershocks, you see them close together, but these are spread all over the place. I thought it might be helpful to look at a line map to where, so we can see exactly where these quakes happened today. Most of these um, quakes at the end of each one of these lines happened today. A couple happened on other days this month, especially this one. This was the huge one, the 6.0 that happened on the 20th. But just to give you some perspective, this is Parma, Italy, and this is just to the east of Parma, Italy. And that's about 32 miles. All right, so let's zoom in and take a look at what the towns are here. Uh, those of you who follow fracking, you know that there has to be a river that uses a huge amount of water, and there's no lack of water in this in this whole area. So they have that going for them. They're also going to need a lot of sand, so we'll see if that's probably available. But I'm just providing this. This is the area where these quakes happen today. I tried to find the fracking wells. I can't. This is just the most beautiful, pristine, or I should say formerly pristine, area of the world. And this is the breadbasket of Italy. Who knows how many centuries people have been farming this beautiful area. Let's just take a look. This is near one of the quakes. How beautiful this is. How lush. This is farmland. This is where the food is grown. And by the truckloads, I'm sure, shipped to the cities of Italy and probably all the way through these wells are producing and providing power. I'll leave you a link for that. This is a huge area for gas production. Not new, they've done it before. They're just doing it in new ways. They're going down to different levels to extract the gas. So it's, uh, the question remains, is that causing these earthquakes? Look at these trees. Is this beautiful land or what? This some little garden. probably fruit trees. My research trying to figure out where the heck are these gas fields, I did find this map. This is from the um, Po Valley Energy Limited Corporation. I'm not sure if that's a state or a private corporation. Shows some licenses and I'm not sure if those are all licenses for all of the people who are drilling. There's just as much of a rush to drill in, in Italy right now as there is in North Dakota. But here we have some perspective, so bear with me. I started with this anomaly the coast of Italy here, this peninsula. So uh, as luck would have it, the road system is the same on the on Google Earth as it is on this map. And you can see that we have this cluster of quakes are right along here. Now I use this a little weird anomaly, it kind of looks like a seal's nose, if you will. So that's this line here. Okay, and that comes down. So I jumped over and it's definitely this road here. And just to the west of that is um, an area that is has an exploration license. So who's doing it or what have you, who knows. But here's the area. So let's zoom in on that. And these are older quakes, 96. So they've, they've been drilling for a long time. They're just doing something different now. They're going for the more difficult stuff. There's June of 2000. 
So it looks like if we watch this, so we'll come down to here, and at approximately here's the river. So it's and it's not showing the other river. So I'd say right about here is where we can find some of these wells, but I don't know, can't find them. So team fracking, let's see if we can find them somewhere in this area. You know, if you go to North Dakota or Utah, or part of lots of different areas in the United States, I mean, it's just a disaster. There's so many. I, I think they're a little more subtle here. They're not putting in hundreds of wells that I can see. But I can't find them here. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you that's the general area where uh, the fracking some fracking wells are in relationship to the quakes. So right about here, let's see how far that is, approximately. It's only about eight miles, 14, 11, so it's not that far away. Okay, that's it. Um, see if you can find something. Have a good day.